What's up YouTube? My name is Uncle Pickle Pokemon. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to look at Hidden Fates and how Hidden Fates has been performing over the past year or so. Hidden Fates, if you guys didn't know already, one of the best modern sets to release. Um, aside from maybe Evolving Skies. Um, people will argue that it's either Evolving Skies or Hidden Fates and uh, as the best set. Uh, in modern uh, times, um, but anyways, uh, Hidden Fates is was a holiday set. Uh, we're about four years uh, removed now from when it, the set first released, so we can safely assume now that there will be no more Hidden Fates reprint. Um, over the past uh, four years, there's been multiple reprints of Hidden Fates, but um, since we are so far removed from the initial drop um, and these cards have been rotated out of rotation you can safely assume that uh, whatever is out in the market is all that we will see going forward uh, so yeah without further ado let's look at some of uh, the singles how the price movements have been the past year and maybe look at some sealed products uh, I have uh, Jesse and James here this is the full art from the uh, the regular set, not the uh, shining uh, fates or uh, shining. Uh, what am I trying to say here? The the shiny vault set. This is the um, chase card in the main set. Uh, a near copy or near mint copy will go for right around eighteen fifty five. And here's the uh, the year graph here. Uh, there was a big spike of this card in uh, late March, early April of this year. I'm not really sure why that is. Uh, I do have a theory, like when when you see a big, uh, big spike in price and it comes right back down like that, or like really steep. Uh, when when you guys see insane like drastic price movements like that, it seems like. Um, this car was being bought out by maybe like some individuals um, because you know it came right back down. It's not really a natural, I guess. Um, when you see like a gradual increase over time, that's more of a you know natural market demand for the card. But uh, this car shot up, went back down. Right now, it's going for right around 15, 18. Uh, $19 uh, at the high it was going for $22 and 24 cents uh, let's take a look at some PSA 10 examples of this card I'm over here on eBay sold listings uh, PSA 10 copy sold for $80 99 80 uh, 66 so I would say PSA 10 going for right around 70 to eighty dollars for this card in a PSA ten. All right, so let's go on over to let's check out the the shiny vault. All right, we have my main boy here. Got the Charizard, the shiny Charizard from the shiny vault set. Uh, gorgeous card. Let's look at the year calendar. So, uh, last October ish, uh, this car is sitting at around $375. It's since dropped to $350, and now it's gone. Uh, we are at a one year high right now, almost $400 for a mint copy of this card. $400 for a mint copy. Uh, yeah, there's nothing nothing more to say is Charizard it's a shiny Charizard the thing that uh, what makes Hidden Fates so cool is uh, or so unique is it was the first set to release full art shiny Pokemon um, so yeah it uh, it was the first set to do so and people just love this set I think people still very people are still very uh, in love with this set uh, I know I am personally, uh, this is the best modern set, hands down by far, in my opinion. 
uh yeah so there that's the charizard uh it's it's gone down but it's now it's you know it's on the up and up right now and uh let's see where this card settles but it's uh it's gone back up and uh let's take a look at the uh let's take a look at this card in a 10 psa 10 example see how much that's going for we don't want the regular okay so august 9th so yesterday one sold for 633 dollars um i want to say this card is still it's so it's such a this card in a psa 10 is such a consistent card selling at right about 700 dollars for the longest time uh over a year now consistently you know 685 695 close to 700 consistently just sells for uh, right around $700 for a PSA 10. The pop report on this is super high, but again, it seems like with these PSA 10 examples of these Charizards, they might, the pop report might be super, super high compared to other Charizards that have been graded in the past, but it seems like it doesn't matter as long as there's demand to suck up all of that supply the the the, the prices stay elevated <clears throat> you don't really see those prices fall so it's really interesting because we've seen more psa 10 examples of chargers now but with the pokemon boom in uh, 2021 uh, there's been supply to suck or there's been demand to suck up all of that supply so uh, it's very interesting because Pokemon has never really seen that before uh, in the past Pokemon um, price actions seem to rely heavily more on like population reports rarity um, and demand now it's um, it's it's a little different now because um demand is so high now compared to in the past so yeah so there's that charizard all right let's look at the second uh best chase card in the set we have the umbreon gx uh full art shiny uh near mint foil 169 dollars that can be right is that really the thing is tcg player kind of lags a little bit um showing like the price histories and stuff um the last i guess um price point here is uh 117 dollars for a mint copy of this card let's see uh, how much people are listing this at right now for a near mint copy yeah so 120 100, about 120 ish dollars for this card uh let's take a look at the year graph so um like that jesse and james where we saw that big spike and then the big um drop um that and again that indicates like someone buying out you know a few a few people out there buying out all those cards but as you guys can see like over the over the past year there's been a like steady uh incremental increase over time of this particular card this is more of a natural market demand what it should look like over time um so it doesn't seem like one uh you know a few people are buying out the cards there's actual like demand for this card and it's going up consistently over time at the lowest going for 85 dollars last year right now you can pick up a copy at 117 dollars gorgeous card umbreon um umbreon's popularity has gone up the past couple years especially with the release of evolving skies um people seem to really love umbreon neck and neck with charizard i would say pikachu and charizard um and uh, umbreon are basically neck and neck in terms of popularity okay so a psa 10 example one sold yesterday 250 dollars 
192 dollars 200 so right around 200 dollars for a psa 10 example of this card uh, i believe the pop report is quite high as well but again doesn't really matter as long as there's demand uh and there seems to be demand for this card gorgeous card so this card has been going up steadily as well uh all right let's take a look at some other maybe let's just take a look at one more single card and then we'll kind of look at the uh how the sealed uh products are doing we have cynthia here the year mark again look at this graph guys it's just a, a steady incline over the past year no sharp um upticks and down ticks at all just a steady increase at the low it was going for uh 65 right now it's going for 95 dollars cynthia shiny feature shiny lucario shiny garchomp and cynthia gorgeous card uh let's take a look at a psa 10 example Cynthia hit Bates. Okay, PSA 10 example, 145. This one best offer accepted, 180, 165, for 165, uh, 160. So right around 160 is about the average uh, for this card in in a PSA 10. And again, like I said. Uh, we are now four years removed from when the first uh, since the release of Hidden Fates and like I said there will be no more reprint um, there's no guarantee obviously but no more reprints as of now for this set and you guys remember when this set first released, this ETB went for $300 shortly after release. And if it wasn't because of multiple reprints, this ETB would be, you know, four or $500 by now. But there's been multiple reprints. And now that we are out of that reprint cycle for this set, there's nowhere, <coughs> there's nowhere else to go but up for these sealed products um so up and down um highs and lows for this set over the past year but uh, overall this this uh etb is uh up for the year it's going for right around 170 dollars ish right now last year it was going for 160 dollars um this card features uh, a promo, the stained glass birds promo as well. I believe that in the PSA 10 is going for like $200, 150 as well right now. Uh, definitely a good hold on this ETB. Very interesting. Let's take a look at some uh, some other Hidden Fates products. Um, see how they have been performing there's a there's actually a premium collection hidden face premium powers collection how is that doing so this wasn't actually reprinted wow this 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 is actually down wow this might be actually be a good time to be picking up this this box here so at the high is going for 400 right now three hundred and forty dollars for this uh, Hidden Fates Premium Powers Collection. Again, this features uh, three promos that you can only get from from you know the uh, premium or uh, from the yeah premium powers collection box. Um, features Rayquaza and uh, uh, Sogalio and Lunala. All right. Um, so this is actually the um, UK version. I believe there's also a a, um, a US version as well. 
Hidden Fates. Let's see how the let's see how the tins are doing actually. Now the tins um, have been reprinted multiple, multiple times, many, many times. Last year, a set of the tins <clears throat> would fetch $178. Right now, it's $178, so it hasn't moved within the past year. So there's that. It's Pokeball Collection. Here's another product. For the past year, it has gone down as well. Wow, okay. I'm, I might uh, be picking up some of these premium collection boxes. Because, I mean, there's, the thing with sealed product is it'll reach an all-time high and then it'll retrace back. And then it'll go and reach an all-time high again. And right now, it's retraced and I might just go and pick up some, some of these boxes it's a great time to be picking up these boxes right now uh again this is not financial advice this is just me talking to myself okay um do your due diligence do what you will but uh don't listen to me i'm just uh kind of babbling on um for myself anyways uh yeah cool so uh, some of these sealed products have actually come down and um that's very interesting Okay, uh, I think that's it for today's video. Um, overall, Hidden Fates, it's still a very popular set. Uh, it's done reprinting, so from here on out, you should uh, expect uh, the price actions on these to increase over time now. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys learned something today, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.